I had the, the privilege of selling the home that was the very last house built next to the Malibu Pier overlooking Surfrider Beach. And right below it and underneath it was the wall that was a hundred year old wall built from the Ringe family that purchased Malibu way back in the day. And the history of Malibu is an interesting one. And it's told in the story in the book, The King and Queen of Malibu. Definitely a good read for California history and Malibu history. And what's fun about that book is understanding how the Ringe family came to Malibu and they were from originally Cornell University, upstate New York area and they were import-export family and their father was a multi-millionaire, a billionaire with those standards and his one of his sons, uh, Henry Ringe, loved California and he looked out from the sunset as the part of the Industrial Revolution in the late 1800s, early 1900s and he'd see where the sun was setting and he wanted to live out there so at the time it was trying to be purchased with clear title from the Rancho Malibu estate. And back then, California history, you'll know that we won the Spanish-American War back in the early 1800s. And part of that was some of these caballeros that ran the ranchos in California that were basically governed by the King of Spain. And so the King of Spain gave these guys badges and these large swaths of land to govern and control. And as people moved west, some of these settlers would marry the daughters or the sons of these ranchos that were held in custody by the caballeros. And those guys ended up handing title on a napkin over time. And so it was difficult to get clear title to Malibu, but Henry Ringe did it. And in the early 1900s, they built the Malibu Pier, they had a cattle, company, they had a tile company, they had industry, but as they lost the estate, slowly they sold off parcels and some of the first parcels to be sold was the Malibu movie colony. And that was, uh, that's a long history in this book, so I recommend you read it or you can jump in the car with me and I'll take you on a tour.